imagine stumbling upon something unimaginable hidden beneath the surface. In the case of Anthony Soule, a shocking discovery was made in the depths of his Cleveland residence. This is a tale that will send shivers down your spine and reveal the chilling truth behind the man known as the Cleveland necrophile serial killer. It all started on a seemingly ordinary day in 2009 when a woman managed to escape from Soul's clutches. She ran to the police, desperate to share her horrifying ordeal. Little did anyone know that her escape would ultimately lead investigators to uncover a gruesome secret hidden within the walls of Soul's home. As authorities obtained a search warrant, they entered the residence with trepidation, unsure of what they would find. What they discovered next would haunt them forever. Walking through the house, they were met with a stench so overpowering, it seemed to seep into their very souls. It was a smell that could only be described as the unmistakable odor of death. Descending into the basement, the investigators were met with a scene straight out of a nightmare. Graves, yes, actual graves, were found scattered throughout the basement. The walls seemed to hold on to the secrets of the dead. The sight was so macabre that it sent chills down the spines of even the most seasoned investigators. But the horror didn't end there. As the search continued, the true extent of Soul's depravity was revealed. Not only were there graves, but the remains of several bodies were discovered as well. The basement, once a place of darkness and solitude, had become a twisted cemetery of Soul's victims. The discovery of the graves in the basement sent shockwaves through the community. How could something so sinister go unnoticed for so long? How many lives had been lost at the hands of this necrophile serial killer? The questions were endless, and the answers would only lead to more terrifying revelations. As the investigation unfolded, details about Soul's life began to emerge. Born on August 19, 1959, in East Cleveland, Soul had a troubled past. He had served time in prison for rape and was released in 2005, only to continue his heinous acts. The revelation of his previous crimes only added to the horror of the situation. The media frenzy surrounding the case was intense. Reporters flocked to the scene, eager to uncover every gruesome detail. The story of the Cleveland necrophile serial killer quickly captivated the nation, leaving people both fascinated and repulsed by the horrors that took place within those basement walls. As the investigation continued, the focus shifted from the discovery of the graves to the victims themselves. Each victim had a story, a life stolen too soon. They were daughters, sisters, mothers, and friends. Their lives had been brutally cut short by a monster lurking in the shadows. The search for answers led authorities to delve into Soul's twisted psyche. What drove him to commit such heinous acts? What twisted desires lurked within his dark soul? These questions remained unanswered, leaving a void of understanding behind the motives of this deranged killer. The uncovering of the graves in Soul's basement revealed a darkness that few had ever encountered. It exposed the reality of a man consumed by evil, a man who had left a trail of destruction in his wake. The Cleveland necrophile serial killer had forever scarred the city, leaving a legacy of terror that would never be forgotten. Part 2, The Victims, Coming Soon, 